you all to the video. I hope you guys are doing great. Are you also someone who's running a small business? Do you know that Indian government had formed an NSIC in order to support and foster MSME sector after independence? Let's understand the full form of NSIC is National Small Industries Corporation. Under single point registration scheme, NSIC registers MSMCs so that they can take advantage of the government schemes. If your MSME business passes through the cycle of NSIC registration, your business will shine bright in the sky of success. For facilitating the growth as well as the competitiveness of the SMME sector, many schemes have been initiated by the NSIC. These schemes include tender marketing scheme, performance and credit rating scheme, single point registration scheme, etc. And therefore, MSMEs are always suggested to acquire NSIC registration to avail schemes along with the benefits offered by NSIC. Let's understand that NSIC has unleashed schemes such as bill discounting scheme, single point registration scheme, skill and development scheme, schemes for MSMEs. Now let's move on and understand who are eligible ones who can obtain this registration. Let's have a look at the entities that are eligible to obtain NSIC registration. Any small level or micro scale enterprise with a valid Udyog Aadhaar, the MSMEs who have although initiated their production but making further moves without the audited balance sheet for the past one year may apply for a provisional NSIC registration with a time validity of one year. Now, if you are someone who wants to go ahead and are still in doubt, let's understand the benefits of NSIC registration. MSMEs with the NSIC registration can participate in the international fairs organized by the NSIC. NSIC registered MSMEs actively participate in the skill development training to upgrade their skill set. The government aids NSIC registered SSICs in CAPD that is Computer Aided Product Design. NSIC registered MSMEs are exempted from the installment of earnest money deposit. The MSMEs can even participate in numerous tech marts exhibitions organized by the NSIC. It's a way through which they will get familiar with the advanced and enhanced technology. And now let's have a look at the procedure for NSIC registration. Any MSME registered entity is entitled to get the NSIC registration. Both online as well as offline procedures are available to obtain the ordered registration. NSIC registration for the online process. First of all, log in to the NSIC official portal. And after that, pick the option saying online registration for GP shown on the right side. Now the applicant should fill up all the details asked in the NSIC registration form. In the next step, press the save option and then you can proceed. After that, pay the fees prescribed for obtaining the NSIC registration. And now, upload the scanned copy of all the significant documents and endorsements. And in the end, press the submit option for successfully submitting the application form for NSIC registration. Now, if you are someone who thinks that you will like to prefer the offline process, let's understand that also. An applicant needs to download and print a copy of the NSIC registration application form. And after that, fill in all the important details. Then the SMEs are required to submit the NSIC application form attached with the prescribed charges and reports either to the zonal or branch or extension office of the NSIC. And now send the concerned application form as well as the duplicates of all the essential documents to the inspecting office together with the imperative proofs or pay order of investigation charges. And in the end, NSIC will render the certificate for GP registration to the concerned MSMEs. And now if you are someone who is sitting down all ready to go ahead with the process, have a look at the documents required. You need Udyog Aadhaar, Memorandum Number, complete information regarding the plant and machinery installed on the premises. Form A copy issued by the registrar of the firms in the case of a partnership business. And then certificate of the incorporation copy in the case of a company. PAN card details of the company, LLP agreement copy in the case of a limited liability partnership. BIS license if in case applicable and other documents. And now if you are someone who need 
any help in the process to go ahead with you can let us know because we have a team of expert professionals who can anytime reach out to you and help you with the process so do contact us on the given details below and if you need any other information do let us know in the comment box below and i'll see you soon until then take care bye bye